Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about constants in C. Well, constant is a special type of variable in C which can't be modified. So when I create a constant in C, I'm basically creating a value that is unable to be modified. So I'm going to show you guys basically how this works. Uh, let's say I created a variable. Let's say I created an integer and I just called it num and I set it equal to five, right? And then I printed out that integer onto the screen. So we can print this out percent D and I'm just going to print out num, right? So I can create this num variable. I can print it out onto the screen. Let's say that down here I wanted to modify num. So I could basically say num is equal to eight. So I can modify the value that's stored inside of the num variable. And let's come down here and we'll print this out as well. So percent D and we'll print out num again. And actually, I'm going to print out a new line here. So when I go ahead and run this program and I forgot a semicolon, when I go ahead and run this program, you'll see we're printing out five and then we modify the value to eight and then we printed out eight. So I was able to modify this value down here. I was able to modify num. But in certain circumstances in C, you're going to want to create variables or you're going to want to create values that can't be modified. So these would be values that just like can't change. And those are called constants. So if I wanted to make num a constant, in other words, let's say for some reason I didn't want the num variable to be able to be modified in my program, I could come over here and I could say const, so C-O-N-S-T, and I'm going to say that right before I declare the type. Now you can also say const uh, right after you declare the type, um, but I've always preferred to just put it before. So I say const int num5, and now this program is actually going to throw an error. So when I try to run this, you'll see down here it's getting highlighted in red. That's because I can't modify a constant. So I'm trying to modify num down here, but I can't because I gave it this const keyword because it's now considered a constant. So in a lot of cases, uh, you'll want to have variables that just can't be modified, can't be changed. And in a situation like that, you want to make them constants. Also, a lot of times when we make constant variables in C, we'll give them uh, all uppercase names. And this isn't required. This is just sort of like what a lot of developers will do. So they'll say like instead of num like this, they would say like num. Or maybe this is like your favorite number. So you could say fav underscore num. So that would be how you could like distinguish two words. But generally like constants will be all capital and that's just so it's kind of obvious that they're unchangeable, that they're constants. Um, but again, you don't have to do that, but that's kind of like a best practice. So this is one way that we can create a constant. And we basically create a constant variable that can't be changed. But a constant could also refer to just like any number or any text that we're using in our program. So for example, I'm going to get rid of this. If I came down here and I just like printed out some text. So let's say I just printed out like hello. This is actually also going to be considered a constant. So this is just like a string of characters, a string of text. That's also considered a constant because it's just like text on the screen. We can't change it. We can't modify it. It's just kind of there. So you would also consider this a constant. If I was printing out a number too, like let's say I came over here and printed out 70, 70 is also considered a constant. So it's just considered to be like a piece of information or a piece of data in our program that is sort of unchanging, right? So 70, this isn't going to change. I mean, unless I physically came in here and changed it, like this value is always going to be 90 no matter what. I can't modify it unless I like manually come in and modify it. So that's also considered a constant. But I would say like for the most part, like where this is going to come in handy is obviously doing stuff like this, but creating constant variables, variables that can't change. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.